Hello, welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I have another tag video for you. I'm sorry, but my creativity has left the building and <laughs> tags are what I'm all about at the moment. Let me know if you have some ideas for me down below. I'd love to know them. But anyway, I saw my friend across, my friend who lives across the pond, Laura, at Gold Star Work, do this tag the other day, and I just really enjoyed hearing her answers. So I went and checked out Tracy Lee Beauty, who was the creator of this tag, and it is the Makeup Addiction tag. I really love the answers, and I really love Tracy Lee's video. Her kitty is so cute, and she hangs out in there. You can't see my kitty, but she she's watching from <laughs> over there. I'm showing you what's but let's, let's see if we can get her on the camera. There is my kitty cat, Marceline. She just likes to hang out and snooze while I do my makeup. Anyway, I really enjoyed hearing all the questions and the answers to the questions. I thought it was really interesting. It has 15 questions in it. So let's get cracking and answer away. Question one, how long have you been addicted to makeup? I believe at this point we are going back to 2017. I'm gonna say definitely two years, but I'm not 100% sure. It, it's, it's, grand. I don't know. Something about the last two to three years, makeup is something that I just can't stop staring at and I love makeup so much. I have a huge problem. I don't know, I don't feel like it's a problem. I can rein myself back when I need to and I can go crazy when I can. But I've definitely been addicted for the last two years and that goes in fluctuating periods. Question number two is what is the item you are most addicted to buying? It is 100% eyeshadow palettes. There is just nothing else in the world that makes me happy to look at and play with and enjoy than eyeshadow palettes. I love them so much. Number three, how many of your favorite items do you have? So I counted this. And I'm pretty sure I got it correct. I did include my palettes of singles, but I have 91 eyeshadow palettes. It's actually less than I thought. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah. I think without my single palettes, it would come down to about 86. Not bad. But yeah, I just, I really enjoy collecting eyeshadow palettes. I definitely have gotten rid of some as time has gone through. So, you know, it's an ebb and a flowy thing. Number four, do you buy makeup just to buy it? I have on occasion feel like I've gone down this dark path. I did talk a bit about five things to ask yourself before you buy makeup in a recent video. And that just, I'm getting a lot better at not just buying makeup because I want it, which is usually what drives me to be like, I'm gonna buy it. And especially after my recent haul, I'm just enjoying using all my makeup and sharing it with you guys, yeah. So I have, but not so much anymore. And now I do tend to try and be a little bit more mindful about what maybe you guys want to see and what I actually want to own and what fits into my collection. Number five, do you look at an item and have the need compulsion that you just need one more to complete your collection? I feel like my collection could never be completed because my collection goal is to own one of every single brand's eyeshadow palettes and try all their products. And I, it's just not a feasible goal to ever finish that. So I've never really been one to collect an entirety of a line, except I'd say the ColourPop eyeliners. I definitely have 95% of their line, but they just, they have such beautiful colorful ones. And the NYX Faux Whites are like my favorites. And I have every single one I can get my ac get access to in Australia. <laughs> That, that, is, that are the ones that I go, I really need them, but that's, I use them so regularly and I really enjoy them. Otherwise, I, I know feasibly I would never complete my collection and I'd need like, I'd need a room just completely dedicated to it that didn't have a bed behind me full of makeup to have the collection that I would like to have, but I'm very happy with the collection I currently have. Number six, and I, I feel personally attacked by this question. Do you have more than 10 mascaras and how many are open? I have 11 and they are all open. This is my mascara pot. I have done a mascara declutter where I got rid of some mascaras because I used to have more. And I've only since then bought one more mascara which is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Two of these are Benefit Bad Girl Bang. One is the mini and one is the full size. But I just, I love changing out my mascara. It makes me really happy. And I don't know, I just, I live dangerously. 
they're all open. Number seven, do you ever throw any makeup away? I've gotten a lot better at doing this. I used to be really bad at throwing makeup away. I couldn't part with it. I was just holding on to it. But now when a product is just really shit, pff, no worries, I'll throw it out. Luckily that is so rare that it happens. And then if it's a product that I don't like, it's just not the best, but I think someone else might be able to get some use from it, I will pass it along. Some of my makeup that does get a bit shit, I have passed on to my friend's kids because that like I wouldn't let an adult use it <laughs> like you know like I'm okay for them to destroy it like one of the eyeshadows I got rid of is well like I used to have the big is it the big festival the masquerade raid from Juvia's Place and when I bought it it all smashed and I repressed it and it just it looked messy it didn't look nice and clean like this one so I gave it off to a friend's kid and I think she is loving it so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, well, I mean, the question is throw it away. If it's really shit, yeah, I throw it away. And if it doesn't fit into either of those categories, which is pretty rare, I will happily throw something away. What is your oldest makeup item? I talked about this in my Dirty Little Secrets tag video I did the other day, but it is the NARS Orgasm Blush. This is at least 10 years old. I won't wear it, but I keep it for sentimental reasons. Do you buy any products just for the packaging? No, but the packaging helps and like I can't say I didn't buy this Givenchy lipstick for the packaging because like I love the color but it's a like it's a red that I just wouldn't wear that often but there's just something magic to me about this bloody thing and I was having a really shit day when I bought it and I remember holding this in my hand looking the tester and being like yes this is gonna make my day better and it did I played with this for like an hour that day and I was just very happy so packaging definitely helps draw me into a product but it's not the be end end all of buying a product and like the product actually has to be good when a new item is released that you want do you set an alarm not anymore I feel like I've just talked about this but I'm not sure in what video so you'll find out but anyway when the yes please Colourpop palette first launched it was a very exciting time for us all and Colourpop releases at 3 a.m. Australian time, which is very painful. <laughs> but I remember waking up the first time to in the morning, not setting an alarm, and I missed out. The next launch, I woke up, I bought it, I really liked it. Then the next release, I woke up again and I bought two of them to give to my friends. And it just, you know, it became a thing. So I have set an alarm for that. I do set an alarm. I've got certain things I set an alarm for. And I do set an alarm for the Beautylish Lucky Bag. I love those bags. They also release, I believe, at 3 a.m. my time. It's usually 10 a.m. like LA time. I forget like what time that is. But the California time, when it's 3 a.m. here, it's 10 a.m. there. And I... What else did I get? I don't... Usually, sometimes I'm lucky enough that I am on night shift, so I don't need to set any, any alarms for that. Per se, I believe with the Jeffree Star Drawbreaker collection, I will be on that shift. So I'm just going to be awake. Yay! Um, so yeah, so those are the sort of items when I know it's something... I mean, I might not get the Jeffree Star collection. To me, that's the only eyeshadow palette this year. Besides the Beauty Loose Shockey bag that I would set an alarm for. Where I know it's probably going to sell out. But nowadays, if something sells out, I just... I let it go. I can't. I can't live that life. The Yes Please palette. Especially... Like with how excited I was when I first got it and then how that's flowed like come down and I'm not as into that palette anymore just because it doesn't have the colours that I love. So my desire to buy something at instant release is pretty rare these days. And just getting up at 3am it really sucks. And sometimes I don't think correctly and then if I buy more things it's just it's not worth it. Oh I missed a question. Back to number nine. Question number nine, how often do you shop for makeup? Probably every day. If you consider going on Instagram shopping, which I definitely think Instagram looking is shopping. And if you, I don't know, I just, I love shopping at makeup and looking at what's newly released. Number 12, do you have the Ulta and Sephora apps on your phone? We don't got no Ulta in Australia, but we've got Sephora and I do have their app. I like to keep track of everything. And I can book in to get my brows done with benefit through their app and yeah. I like to see I like to see what's in the rewards boutique and the app's just really good. I don't understand why Mecca doesn't have an app. They're really handy. So yeah. But I mean I'm probably like a millennial, so app life. 
Is it like, I don't know. App life. Do you have so much makeup that you forget what you have and purchase items again? No, because I'm... I don't think I've ever bought double of anything. The couple of eyeliners I've definitely come close to just because I have forgotten, but I wrote a list and I'm all good now, so I know which ones I have. But I've never... No. I pretty well... If something's running low or I think I'm going to have to buy one soon, I know I've got it or it's something new I'm excited about and I definitely know I've got it. So, no. I have happily never bought a double of anything by accident. 14. Does makeup make you happy? Yes, of course. I love makeup and I love watching makeup videos. I love watching all my friends on YouTube and I love being a part of this little micro beauty sector and I love playing my makeup and I love having a reason to sh do it and share it with you guys. It just... I really enjoy it. Number 15, tag everyone. I'll have a list of some people I tagged in the description box below. I'd love it if you do this tag and go check out Tracy Lee Beauty. It's a really great video and definitely go check out Gold Star Works. She's amazing. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this quick little tag. Let me know if you have some creativity ideas for me that you'd like to see me do. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.